the Texans have not uh, officially named who will be piloting their offense. We assume it will be second overall pick CJ Stroud over Davis Mills. Not official yet, but I want to start there because man, I remember because we'll get to a rich in a second. A rich might be the most fascinating player in the NFL this year. Definitely most fascinating rookie, but right. I remember the draft process. You were like, it's not even close. It's not even close. The guy is from the Ohio State University. It's CJ right. Stroud. So when I saw right. him kind of take a step forward in the second preseason game, I saw that and I said to myself, man, I got to talk to Michael about like just check in on Stroud. You know, we'll get to my man a rich in a second, but but CJ Stroud in particular because it's like the combine, which Averich ripped up the combine. We know that like like no quarterback ever right, had. Right. But the best passing performance at the combine was CJ Stroud. The best passer in this class was CJ Stroud. The, the, the best when it comes to ball placement is CJ Stroud. It, like, yes, Bryce Young won the Heisman Trophy, but CJ Stroud did his thing in Ohio State. So Mr. OHIO himself, Michael Holly, what are your early impressions of CJ Stroud? And why are more people talking about how great he can be? Is it a Houston thing? Do people just overlook Houston in the aftermath of Deshaun Watson? Is yeah. it, is, is, are they kind of irrelevant? What is it? Why are more people talking about Stroud? I know at the beginning of the draft, uh, before the draft actually happened, I know I said to you that CJ Stroud should be taken number one overall by Carolina. Okay, Bryce Young went one, CJ Stroud went two. It could have been the other way around. No problem, but I think both of those guys number one and number two have the same issues and it really has nothing to do with them. It's more the situations that they find themselves in. You know, Carolina has this all star offensive coaching staff. It's been well documented. All these people, all these you got your you want to get call some people have all your experts to get all these experts <laughs> offensively, but they still have a lot of holes in the franchise and it's just a lot to deal with. When you are the foundational piece at quarterback and there's not a lot around you and you you're part of the building. It's going to be rough. Year one's going to be rough for Bryce Young. Year one's going to be uh, rough for CJ Stroud. So I think that's why nobody's talking about him. Define rough. Because now it's, Defi it's Define start, rough. rough. Yeah. Probably more probably probably more uh, interceptions and touchdowns. Uh, some moments mm. where commentators were loud mouth talking heads like you and me are saying, ooh, did they make the right decision when some other rookie who's in a better situation may look better temporarily? Ooh, ooh, did the, did the, did the Panthers make the right move? Did the Texans make the right move? It's going to be some moments like that. Well, uh, but you know, because, we have to, but we, but we have we to saw that. We already saw that in year one. We saw it in year one a couple years yes. ago. Trevor That's Lawrence, exactly right. Trevor Lawrence. Well, well hey, not just hey, Trevor Lawrence, they, but like did the 49ers, Mac Jones and all the whole thing. Yeah. But look at that whole class. But there you go. Look at that whole class. Mac Jones looked like he was the best one from the 21 class. We know what happened last year, much of which we don't ascribe or attribute it to Mac Not Jones. It was more of the offensive coordinator situation. Right. But, but still, his stock took a dip after last year. Um, Trey Lance is trying to be the third quarterback in San Francisco. You know, probably won't be the backup quarterback to Brock Purdy. We know starting as that ship has sailed. Uh, Justin Fields was bumpy early on. Had a great year in some spots last year. They declared they pledged their fealty to him by trading away the number one pick, but still the jury's out when it comes to fields as a passer for a lot of people. Trevor Lawrence looks like he's looks like he's on the ascent and Zach Wilson's now a backup. We'll get to Zach Wilson later on. But what I'm saying, Michael, by going over the 21 class um, is that we know for certain that these guys all aren't going to work out. Certainly not early on, but we know they're not going to all hit. The, the right. odds are, unless this, is, unless this is the class of 83, the odds are that one of these three first round guys, three guys that were taken in the top four, is going to bust. The guy that most, I, I think Stroud was the safest pick all along because of his ability as a passer. Miss me with the, the SQ test. I believe in his ability as a passer. I actually like the receiver room. They may not have a bona fide alpha in Houston, Mm. Um, I, I like D'Amico Ryans as a leader. I think if okay. I had to bet on the guy least likely to bust for me, it would be Stroud just because of his pedigree and his measurables and whatnot. Hey, thank you for watching brother from another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM channel 85.